Man, I absolutely love this effect. It is so cool to make your videos look cinematic, professional, beautiful. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can do exactly what you just saw in the intro of this video directly from your phone. Super easy, super simple, but be sure you stay and watch the whole video because I'm gonna include a cool little cinematic effect at the end of the video for you, and I don't want you to miss that. Let's get to it, guys. So to shoot this in the best possible way, you're gonna need to set up your phone on a tripod or something that's gonna keep your phone stable like a bunch of books. Once your phone is set up and pointed at the sky, walk into the frame and stand there for 20 seconds. Once the 20 seconds is done, you can simply walk out of frame and leave your phone running for another 20 minutes. Now, if you're shooting indoors, it helps to have some sort of light on you to brighten yourself up. Alrighty, once you have done all those first steps, go to your CapCut app, and this is where we're gonna edit this magic. Okay, go ahead and go to new project and find the video that you recorded. There's mine, 20 minutes and 14 seconds long. And you can see in this first beginning, I am just getting ready to walk into frame. I'm gonna trim off the beginning dead space. And then I start walking into frame. And great, I'm gonna scroll over to just before I walk out of the frame. So you can see here, there I walk out of frame. So right before I start doing that, I am gonna split this. I'm gonna find the portion where I walk out of frame, which is just there, and I'm gonna split it again and then delete this segment of me moving to the out of frame. Now what we should have is our subject in the first clip and a clear blank sky without the subject in the second clip. Now on our first clip with the subject, I'm gonna click that, scroll over to overlay at the bottom, and that is gonna drop it on layer one. Now all I'm gonna do is click on the clip again, scroll over to cut out and say remove background. And once your background is removed on layer one, you're gonna have your subject, and on layer two, which is the layer that's currently highlighted, you're gonna have your sky. But that's not it, guys. That's not how I get this cool cinematic effect where I, you know, I point to the sky or I click and the sky starts moving fast. You can see, uh, and you would have seen it in the intro. So how you do that is find the part where you point or click the sky. So I'm gonna go scroll over to right there. And on my second layer, I'm gonna go ahead and click split because we don't want this first portion to be fast. We want it to be slow. And then as I go to the sky, we want it to speed up, right? So now on this second clip, after I have pointed to the sky, go to speed, go normal and ramp that right up to whatever you want. I generally like to go 80 times for any sky. It makes it look really cool. So now what we have is the sky moving in normal pace in the beginning. And then once I you know, point to the sky, it moves fast. Now, part of the cinematic effect is we need to color this image. So go to one of your clips. I like to click on one of the sky clips, which will be your second layer. Go over to adjust, and then let's add some contrast. Let's definitely add some saturation to 15 or 16, a uh, bit of exposure. Let's sharpen that up to 20. And what that's done is it's already given us quite a, a different sky look. Now in the bottom left, click apply to all, and that's gonna apply it to our subject as well. Once you're happy with that, click the plus check mark. And what you can see is it's applied it to all these clips, so it all looks the same. Now, before we export this, I wanna just make sure that these are timed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this clip and it should snap to the end. And there our clips are perfectly timed together. Make sure you don't have any ending or cap cut on yours. If you do, go ahead and click it and click delete. Now, once that's all done and you're happy with how that looks, go ahead and change this to 4K. Make sure it's 30 frames a second and click export. Once that's done exporting, click done. Go ahead and make a new project and import that video that we just made. Now this should be perfectly timed with all the effects that we just applied. Let's make it more cinematic and add those cinema bars. So I'm gonna scroll over to my effects at the bottom, go video effects, scroll over to lens, and scroll down until you find cinema. Go ahead and click that and click the plus check mark. Now we get to drag that to the duration that we want but I don't want it to keep dropping over the whole video. So as soon as the video starts to ramp right there, I'm gonna go ahead and click our video and click split and then drag this right to there. So you can see that what this does is it kind of drops these bars in in a very cinematic style. But no, look what happens. The bars go away once we get to this bit. Don't worry guys, go ahead and click that second half of your video, scroll over to masks and click on film strip. 
Now make sure there's no feather on this. You can see we feather by dragging, make sure it's all the way up. And now what we want to do is match what the cinema bars were like. So make sure you're at zero degrees and it's a little tricky <laughs> as you can see. So you just want to keep tweaking this until it looks relatively the same. Go to mask and we're going to tighten this up a bit. I think that should be close to perfect. Let's see. That is almost it right there, guys. I'm going to spend some time adjusting it and I'll show you what the end result is. And there we go. That pretty much looks perfect. If I go ahead and play that, you can see there's no jumping in what those bars are like. And once you're happy with that, keep it at 1080p. Go ahead and click export and you are ready to upload that to social media. And there we go, guys. That is it. That's how to do this amazing sky replacement in literally three minutes or less. I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more amazing cap cut and final cut video effects and transitions and just amazing things to take your reels and your TikToks to the next level. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.